working right now. <clears throat> well, we have uh, devastated. We had so much um, enthusiasm and desire to be in that final. Uh, we know how much it meant um, to the club, to our fans, to ourselves to be in that final, have the chance to win a title and, and be in the Champions League next season. And it's a, it's a huge blow. Um, the night started in a difficult way, losing Granite in the warm-up, having to change straight away and put in another player that hasn't featured for a long time. <clears throat> and I think in the first half, um, we weren't good enough with the ball. I think uh, we had a lot of problems in our build-up to get uh, anything clean into the final third to, to dominate the game, to have composure and a little bit of confidence. We changed it at halftime. We were much better. But uh, in the final moments, we hit the post twice and uh, we missed a chance with an empty goal. Without I, know this is a, I know this is an emotive time um, and a, probably a, a tough question to answer, but obviously looking at social media, Arsenal fans are, are very disappointed and uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about your future. What would you say to them to convince them that you know, this project is one, one to get behind? We have to show that on the pitch. It's not about um, talking. We are hugely disappointed because we wanted to deliver something special against to them after the, the difficult season that we had. But um, when you're playing these knockout games, you need your best players at your best. And there's too many things happened when we didn't have enough of those in the best possible condition. And it's still like that, we fought in the end. And I think today in the second half, we deserve to win the game. 1-0, I think what it should have happened, we would have been through, but we didn't do it. And, um, and there is a reason for that. Thank you. Jim Condon. Um, hi, Mikel. Um, just wondering in terms of Alex Lacazette's injury, was there any possibility for him to come on at half time and partner of Bamiyang up front? No. He was only available to play 10 minutes, 15 minutes maximum. We are already taking a risk because he hasn't trained fully with the team. But, um, but he wanted to take that risk and, and we believe that it was worth taking it and, and that's the maximum that he could play. Duncan Wright. Hi, Mikel. Um, difficult night, but you, you find yourself out of your for, for the first time in 25 years, lower in the table than last season without a trophy. Do you, do you say that's progress for the process that you've had? Obviously, looking at everything right now is going to be focused on, on that. I understand that and um, I leave it to you guys. The, the, Seem very insipid in your performance. One shot on target, and I, I, I hear you saying, and I understand what about injuries. But Villarreal had injuries. They lost players. They lost their key. They lost their best player in the first half. Had suspension. So that affects everyone. It, it, it was still a, a below par. Absolutely, but we, we have to. When we have the chances, that we have to put the ball in the net. And again, I'm saying we haven't played our best in over the two legs. Certainly in the first half an hour in Villarreal and the first half today, and this is the other motive why we are not through. And finally, do you accept that you, your job may be under threat now? I think everybody's job will always uh, in a scrutiny. Mark Van Bynes. Hi, Mikel. Just building on what you said there, do you still have the faith in your own ability to, to do this job moving forward now? Yes. And just the last one for me, how, how much respect do you have for Unai in the sense that we saw all of their players in the bench run onto the pitch at the full-time whistle, but he came straight over and shook your hand out. Seemed like quite a respectful gesture. Well, I think he's always been like that, not now, but uh, through his career, he's always been a manager that behaves like that. And just I want on Kieran as well, how hard was it for him today to come in and, and play like that for such a long period of time? We had no now? choice. Um, we had Cedric in hospital 24 hours ago. And uh, when Granite got injured, that was the only alternative that we had. Cedric, OK? Yeah, he's fine now. Thank you. Finally, I'll come to Charles. Hi, Mikhail. The in inquest from this is understandably going to be pretty intense and brutal. Can you understand why there's going to be so much sort of focus on you yes. now and uh, your future? Yeah. Well, do you, do, you, do you feel like you can pick this, these players up now? Because I imagine they're destroyed in there. Do you, how are you going to do that? I wouldn't be sitting here if I don't. But how, how do you do that? Do you think in the, in the summer or in the, in the closing weeks? You will see it. It's not about talking, it's about showing it on that pitch. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.